guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about how to enhance the rail generator to add more functionality to it. So let's talk about generators real fast and explain a little bit about how they work. So here if we run Rails Generate, you're gonna see the output here. It tells you you can use um, Rails Generate, you have to give it the name and then arguments and options. And the optional uh, or the available generators you have are all listed here and they have namespaces in front of those sections um, and it will show you, here's all the Rails generators, the scaffold one that we want to enhance, but there's also Active Record, Devise, Friendly ID, Madman, and all of the other gems um, that we use can provide generators. So your Rails generators are smart enough to actually look at all of the available gems and find those generators that are available and enumerate them. And then when we run Rails generate, scaffold, it knows to call the Rails scaffold generator. So if we say post with a title and a body, this text as our arguments, um, it's going to then generate the scaffold. And the scaffold really doesn't do anything itself. It actually invokes active record to create a model, which invokes test unit to create tests for your model. It also scaffold will generate the resource route. It will generate a scaffold controller. It will have the controller will actually generate the ERB views for it. Then it will go to test unit, helper, and JBuilder in order to override, you know, or add other things. So these are all built-in hooks that the scaffold controller or generator um, does. And everything else is wired up to be um, enhancing that and adding those functionality or pieces in. So one of the cool things that we can do to enhance this, and I, I've tried to do this in the past by actually reopening the Rails scaffold generator class in my own code and then adding features to it. So we'd require it and then we'd reopen the class and add some um, methods to it in order to add our features. That's fine-ish, but it is prone to breaking things because we're actually modifying the Rails code. So what's really cool about this is we can generate our own generator 